We are live. Oh, mic is on. Well done. <laughs> I made sure it's on. Hopefully everyone can hear us. Yes. How are you doing, guys? We hope you're all doing very well and have had a nice Sunday. It's been an excellent weekend for us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Obviously, we'll talk about Britain's Strongest Man. What a competition this weekend. I just want to quickly say well done to Fadi El Masseri, who oh. was one of my clients who just won Middle East Strongest Man this oh, weekend. Oh, cool. So, well done, Fadi. I, I didn't see much about it online. I was looking. And it wasn't until I saw his Instagram that I saw he won. So oh. <laughs> look forward to, to chatting to him uh, over the week about that. But yeah, well done, Fatty. Oh, that's good. And um, before we get into the competition, I just wanted to, like, I I don't want to end on a somber note. No. So I figure we'll, we'll do it now. But um, last week we were talking about uh, Rhiannon Lovelace's interview. And I was telling everyone to go watch it. It was on the Irish Strength YouTube channel. Well, unfortunately, um, this week, uh, Mark McGovern, who ran Irish Strength, who was a huge ambassador for Strongman in Ireland, he um, very, very sadly passed away. Yeah. So it's been very sad. Yeah, really sad. Because um, and I know we say it about a lot of people. They're such a nice guy. But Mark was genuinely one of those people who was just the loveliest. Like absolutely loved the sport. Such, oh, yeah. Loved everyone in it. <laughs> he was just uh, yeah. very positive as well. And it just shows you never know what people are going through. So yeah. it's just yeah. an absolute joy to be around, to be honest. He was one of those who really lit up a room and just it didn't matter who you were. He would talk to people and just yeah. so passionate about the sport. So just wanted to acknowledge him and um if any of his friends or family watch this at any point just like wish them our very best as well but let's get on to this weekend and the competition and have See a little look at the comments here. yeah ken i'm going to leave this tab open for hours so i <laughs> finally don't miss a live we hope you're with us ken wave if you are <laughs> Toby, evening guys, what a comp that was, eh? That sandbag toss was Unbelievable. wild. Unbelievable. Yeah, oh, the sandbag toss was so good. Like, Adam's time was amazing. And we were like, wow, three seconds faster. Like, I don't like to call a lot of these things world records. I consider it an event record, you know? It's a Giants that, Live record. Yeah, I, I'll tell that you what, that's, that's one of the great things with Giants Live now. They are, are, they are establishing records on the same bit of kit. Yes. So we've seen... Very, very fast times like Zadrinus, Brian, Thor, even Lalas. I've seen some yeah, incredible yeah. throw things. But um, what Giants Live have done since they started now, they're using the same kit. So we have a real honest record for people to break. An idea of like, yeah. yeah, how people are comparing to each other. Yeah. But yeah, for Bish to go and break that record by three seconds and then to only come fourth. Third. Was it third in I the event? I think he beat he beat he Tom. did beat Tom. Yep. Okay, but Gav and Shane Shane yeah. was crazy. Oh, I filmed it. I missed off. I was like, oh my god, like he was so fast. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't anticipate him. It being was funny because I, I was saying like how you know it'd be, everyone was saying it was the event that Tom could feel the pressure on because we we knew there was a number of good sandbag throwers. I, I was going to say tossers, but <laughs> I'll try not to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> You've said it now. And you know, it's, it's a big advantage going last because normally a couple of guys might make a mistake but the three big names in that didn't make a mistake they all blitzed it and tom was looking really really quick had a little mishap on one of them where he wasn't sure if it was going over or not yeah. that slowed him down a bit but he still he was in a good position because he was so far ahead that and tom going into the atlas stones yeah all tom wants to be doing going into an atlas stones is at, like even if he's a point behind yeah. With the rules, he's still going to be confident he wins. So he yeah. knows if he's yeah. leading the pack going into the stones, he's in a very, very good position. Yeah. So it does take the pressure off a little bit. But the guys really tried to ramp it up and put it on him. Oh, yeah, they did. Uh, Andrew saying, great comp. Well done, Luke. My <laughs> wife was so nervous she would not watch his stone run. <laughs> Luke was amazing. Like, I was super impressed with Luke. Uh, I went up to him afterwards and said, you proved me wrong, buddy. Um, you know, I, I had Bish and Shane on the podium. So mm. Gav, Gav was fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah, Gav was like, Gav was yeah. just the guy gets better every time we see him. Yeah. And and I love that about him. He's just working hard and you know, he's just steadily keeping improving. I, I'm excited to see, you know, world's strongest man. I'd love to see him in the final of worlds. So yeah, me too. Really Gav good. loves it as well. Like so much joy when he He completes. looks focused these days. Yeah, you know, he does, he, he's yeah. focused, but in a good way. And, and you know, he, he just performs. It's yeah. great to see. Uh, where are we? What a competition last night, saying Sarah. Uh, getting there, the ball. <laughs> yes. Lots of, yeah, lots of support for Gav in the comments. Um, cracking night, says Gary. 
Don't forget to hit the like button. Thank you, Dalton. Cousin Fred, thank you so much for the super chat. Good morning, afternoon, hey, cousin evening, Fred. everyone. Hope Paul is well. Great competition. Next, my Lions beat the 49ers. 49ers. I hope they do. Good stuff. I don't know what 49 is. It's American football. <laughs> oh, okay. There you go. Thank you, Lars. <laughs> we hope you're I doing think. well, Fred, and uh, enjoyed the competition last night. Team Lars going strong again. There was no one in Team Lars. Oh, Faddy, Faddy. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, sorry. That was a great thing about last night. I had no athlete, so I could just enjoy it as a yeah. fan. It was brilliant. It was so enjoyable as well, wasn't yeah, it? We it was really, really had a lot show. of fun. Yeah. Try us live so... again, putting on a, a great show. But the athletes putting on a great show. Yeah. That's, you know, starting off with that deadlift. Let's talk about that deadlift because that was insane. Just one athlete not pulling the 400. I remember, you know, Europe's strongest man where almost everyone pulled 400. Now you've got Britain's strongest man where everyone's pulling 400. It's just mental. And then Bish doing the five reps plus the, the yeah. one rep of the 360 to you take the win. You didn't think anyone would be dropping down, did you? No, and like, no just... it's certainly not like when you've pushed to that extreme. Yeah, yeah. And we saw we saw a few people manage to get it. A few people didn't. But um, no, it was, it was good. It was a good way to try and separate some places. Yeah. And, you know, maybe it cost Bish. Maybe it didn't. It's hard to say that like Bish wasn't bad at all. It just had a couple of things that didn't go to plan. I think really the only thing that Bish surprised me on in a bad way, I guess, was the medley, like the loading. Yeah, he looked boys. a little bit slower on the on, on the the, ground, the, yeah. the um, anvil and the um, anchor. Mm. than we used to seeing because you usually is rapidly fast i think maybe he was i mean maybe he was gassed from the previous two events but also maybe he was just trying not to make any mistakes and being really yeah. careful because you see some of them i saw a video of kane like a sideways shot of him and he's running so fast it's almost like one wrong move yeah. and you're, you're done for aren't you yeah. so yeah it's just but like, small yeah, margins you know it just wasn't his night but it, it he's still an amazing athlete he is and the the top six just I mean, I, I had a top five, and I, I know how good Kane is. Mm. And I, I always love watching Kane, and he's a guy yeah, that like performs. Kane. But I just thought the other five might be a little bit too good on those events for yeah. him to kind of crack that top five. Yeah. Super pleased to see him get in there. Yeah, And I'd love to see him go to Worlds. Oh, Kane deserves an invitation. We were we were talking about it on the way home, weren't mm. we? Looking at, like, you know, six to seven British athletes usually go to World's Strongest Man. So the ones that have officially qualified now, both Stompman brothers, you've got Gav, Shane. Um, that's it. That's it, officially. Yeah, officially, that's it. We think Adam Bishop will likely be invited. Adam Bishop and, um, and Kane. And Kane, yeah. That should be the... The yeah, six, Brits six that go. one for each group. Yeah. It is no, it's five groups, isn't it? Yeah, is it? But there's usually more than five Brits that go. So if there yeah. is, you know, and then Par will be put in as an Irishman. <laughs> he will par as an Irishman. <laughs> yeah. Par is an Irishman. He doesn't need to be put in put as in an Irishman. A, yeah, quick par. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, would love to see Kane at Wells was what I, think I was trying to get. It, he definitely deserves it. Yeah. Ken made it. Yay! Yes. Well done, Ken. There you go. You're in the Glad game. Glad you made it, Ken. <laughs> Oh dear. People watching it from work. Live at work. Woo. <laughs> I was a bit surprised when I left a homoerotic comment about Shane's doubts and arms in the Reddit thread and then got a reply from him seven hours later. <laughs> Do you know what, Alex? I was reading the Reddit thread because I knew that there had been problems with the stream. So I wanted to see how bad the problems were. So I was on Reddit and I happened to be next to Shane when I saw your comment. So I read it out to him and uh, yeah, he was delighted. <laughs> So there you go. Who doesn't like a compliment? Exactly, exactly. And well, his first question was, was it a woman? I yeah. said, no. And he was like, oh, good. Otherwise, Rachel, his wife, would kill him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. The sausage looked great last night. He did indeed. And yeah. we had a sausage sandwich at the end, didn't we? <laughs> With yeah. Gav in the middle. Yes. <laughs> Bless him. Gav's awesome. Yeah, Gav's great. Uh, what have we got? Fred, gifting memberships. Thank you so much, Fred. That's really kind of you. Um, and yeah, Catherine, RIP Mark, condolences to his family and friends. It really is a very sad loss for the sport. And Absolutely. especially for the Irish community, because he was really a driving force there. Yeah. And um, I know he's terribly missed. I've spoken to a few of them this week. Uh, what, this one? Yeah. How many British strongmans, or Britain's strongest man, did you compete in? Good question. I don't know. Let's try and figure it out. I did... 2004? No, no, no. five. No, no, no. calm oh. down. 2007 was my first. How old are you? <laughs> 2007 was my first. Seven. 2008. I was thinking of Mark. Then 
they didn't have any for a few years. No, so, 2012 was when it came back. Yeah. So 2007, 2008 were my first two. Yeah. But then there was a break till 2012. 2012 and 2013, I won. Yeah. You did 14. You didn't do 15. You did yeah. 16. You did 17, 18, and 19. And that was it. Yeah. How yeah. many was that? Did you count? I didn't count. Oh, <laughs> Get Not as many as um, some of these other guys have done. No, like, uh, Terry and Mark. Yeah. yeah, Bish has done ten, ten in a row. I know. Yeah, he was like he had a sudden realization that he's not one of the young guys anymore. <laughs> yeah. Bless it. Happens to us all, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, where are we? Hello. What were the points at the end of the competition? I'll get the points up. There you go. We should have done a little screen, shouldn't we? We should have, but Loz was out. Left me alone with the kids in the house. <laughs> uh, hello, everyone. What an amazing show Brits was. That's uh, Alex in the house. Say hi to Alex. Hi, Alex. There you go. Which Alex? My Alex? Lungu. So I'll quickly run through the scores. Tom Stoltman taking the win with 56 points. Gav Bilton in second with 47 and a half. Luke Stoltman in third, 46 points. Shane Flowers in fourth with 43 and a half. Kane Francis with 37 Bishop with 34 and a half, Pyro Dwyer 34, Paul Smith on 25 and a half, Sean Gillen on 25, Paddy Haynes on 19 and a half, Mark Felix on 10, and Connor Curran 2.5 in the 12th place. Unfortunately, Connor had to pull out yeah. after event two. Yeah, I think he did the axle, didn't yeah. he? But um, yeah, it was a shame for Connor. But he did say that he'd injured it in training a few weeks ago. So it was one of those yeah. things you test in the waters, aren't you? Yeah. Um, Ken with a member's comment there, Gav, had a different look in his eye really on did. the mission. Yeah. He just looked focused all yeah. night. And someone, I saw a comment earlier, someone said um, he looked annoyed after the last event and he shouldn't have been. He just wanted to get that fifth stone. You know? It shows how brutal that comp was, though, with how yeah. many of the guys that we used to see finish the stones didn't finish it. And even Tom not one motioning them all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which we know he's capable of doing. When, when we see Tom finish stones in around 23 seconds, you know it's a hard set of stones. Yeah, well, you know they've had a tough competition yeah. as well, don't you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, where are we? Oh, <laughs> Tenery Fiken got a uh, membership hey. from uh, Fred. Hey, Matt. Hope you're well, buddy. <laughs> Losborns. <laughs> right. Is everyone saying hello to each other? Yeah. <laughs> it's great that there's this community now. Everyone. Yeah, it's nice. Uh, find each other. Bish was unbelievable and possibly the only athlete. I'm guessing you meant to type to not use yeah, a suit. Yeah, I believe he was the only athlete not using a suit. And it's, you know, it's an interesting choice and super impressive. To, to be able to do that without a suit, like really impressive. I was talking to Tom backstage and Tom, and I thought this was smart of Tom. He was like, of course I'm going to use a suit if I'm allowed it because I want to, you know, protect my body as much as I can. And maybe it was a smart choice, but yeah. I, I don't know the reasoning why Bish didn't use a suit because I've seen him use a suit before. He said it on my video. Did so he? he said for reps, he's just way better out of a suit because yeah. he just can't. Just finds it too constricting. Yeah, yeah, yeah way too constricting. And... I, I was the same. I hated wearing yeah. suits because in that bottom position, I just felt like I was panicking. Yeah. But yeah. No, he said for a max, he'd use a suit, but not for reps. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, that's insanely heavy deadlift to go without the suit. But <laughs> I mean, you know me, I'd, I'd love to see the suits banned in strongman. But um, while they're there, you think if, if I can use them, I'm going to use them. Yeah. Uh, Bron chopped. Hope Paddy didn't get too um, down on himself. Looked like his nerves got the best of him. He has potential. Paddy has loads of potential, and, and this will be a great experience for him. You know, it's it's a step up in standard that he, that he's used to. Um, the thing with Britain's, you've got like Tom Stoltman, who's two time world strongest man. Luke Stoltman, who's Europe's strongest man. Bish, who's a finalist of world strongest man. Yeah, it was stacks. You know, Gav Bilton, very very experienced now, been to worlds a number of times. Just looks like a top ten in the world right now. So it's really really difficult. And unless you're absolutely at your best, you can almost look very average. And the fact is, Paddy is awesome. He's going to get experience from it. The The pace of the show, I've said this before, and, you know, if anyone was there watching last night, you just see how fast it is. Everyone expects yeah. it to be much slower, but the reset is quick. Athletes are straight out again, ready to do the next event, and it was a tough competition. And, you know, I, I messaged Paddy earlier, actually, because I, I love Paddy. I think he's awesome. Yeah, he's I, was, I, I got to coach him for a while early on in his career when he was a junior, and he's just a lovely kid and getting better all the time. Great experience for him. He knows he needs to go away and work on things, and he'll be back better for the experience. He's got the right attitude, hasn't he? Yeah. 
Um, question let's, for re- let's remember, Tom Stockman came last at Brits one year. Yeah, exactly. That's, you know, it's, yeah. it's all experience. Mm. Um, can the dinnies be done without hook grip or is that a no-go? Yes, they can be done without hook grip. It's just much, much harder. Like your, your grip's going to go. If they're lighter, when they're, you know, say the, the weight that I was going to use at OSG, I would do it without the hook grip. But the actual dinnies, because they are so heavy and so big and awkward, doing it without the hook grip is just detrimental to your mm. performance. You, you kind of, you're so conscious of your grip going, whereas on hook grip, it's just pain tolerance. You're just trying to make sure you can kind of cope with that pain and focus on those small, steady steps. Whereas when it's a bit lighter, you can just go with a normal grip and move a bit quicker. And we've seen the difference with people using a hook and not like Eddie Williams is a fine example of yeah. that, isn't that it? That wasn't even on the dinnies. That was on the um, nickel stones. Yeah. 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 Which is lighter yeah. than the dinnies. It'll be interesting to see if anyone attempts it without a hook grip. Um, at the Arnold's Ohio, where they're doing it. It's the more comfortable without a hook grip. Yeah. Of um, course. But it's not as effective. No, especially moving them. Yeah. Um, Hal, thank you for the super chat. What additional health screening do you recommend for those taking super creatine to prevent the sudden passing of so many bodybuilders and powerlifters? Uh, I 100% recommend getting blood tests done probably twice a year. It's um, ideal. Uh, talk to your doctors as well. Don't don't hide it. Like I think the fact that people are almost ashamed about it is is a bad thing because let's such say a stigma attached yeah the to stigma it. attached to it is you know you're a bad person if you use super creatine yeah and the fact that you know the fact is we're in a sport that doesn't test doesn't you know that's not <laughs> i mean there are federations where people are supposed to be natural um don't know that they all are but um They're you know if you're testing. if you're competing at the top level in powerlifting or bodybuilding or strongman and you're in a sport that is not banning those those mm-hmm. things then understanding how to do it safely is really important and making sure that you've got doctors or you know experts in there's groups now like um the blood group and um who's the company is it the blood group yeah yeah they they'll do screenings of your blood tell you kind of the readings of everything tell you what's high what you need to do to kind of bring things back into a normal level so understanding your 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 numbers and your body is really really important so yeah if you're ever going to decide to do something like that first thing i'd say make sure you're putting in a lot of research and you understand the risks versus the rewards um be smart with it you know there's a lot of people now and this is something i feel very passionately about a lot of people with poor genetics think that the top guys are all using crazy amounts and it's just not the case so the people with poor genetics are then trying to compensate for their genetics by using lots and then telling other people to use lots and you know that's when you're seeing all these people that are really getting ill or getting mental issues and and having problems it's things can be done relatively safely i say relatively because there is a risk and it's important that you understand that but if you're making sure you are being safe making sure you're getting regular checkups then things can be done to a reasonably safe level but i i would never recommend anyone to start using creatine unless you can get to a, a decent level naturally because the top guys are genetic freaks for a reason they're the best for a reason it's not because of super creatine it's because they're incredible athletes that have incredible genetics i realized while you were talking look you can see the ding in our wall my goodness God. you have to have words with tina yeah I'll... <laughs> i just feel like a dick saying this our cleaner <laughs> the, the massive loss um canvas came flying off when she was dusting <laughs> and um the, yeah yeah put a ding in the wall thankfully though i she wanted to know what paint color this was and she actually bought a tub to paint her room one of her rooms in her house mm. as well so she's bringing the paint <laughs> this week i back. love that you picked up on that <laughs> oh dear auntie liz i know what am i like Oh, uh, Sarah, Gav didn't seem as usual happy stuff. Oh, I can assure you, Sarah, Gav was very happy. He was just super focused, wasn't yeah. he? But he was happy. And, um, you know, to come second behind Tom, take Tom out of the equation, like, and Gav's the best in Britain right now. So oh, two, two years in a row, he's been runner up. He's, yeah. And, you know, he's getting better all the time, like I say. Yeah. Uh, oh, Monica's in the chat. Hey, Monica. Hope you're doing well. Listen, Liz, since we get Europe's next, out of the final spots, which athletes would you go for an invite? Oh, we were discussing this also um, on the uh, on the drive home. 
Um, because I spoke to Shane actually, and I think Shane will likely get an invitation, but whether or not he should do it, because he's already qualified. So yeah, and it's so close to world. The, the, the man, problem with it? Europe's, I think, for a lot of the athletes, is how close it is to Europe's. Yeah. That's the um, no, sorry, how close it is it's to the worlds. worlds. Yeah, especially um, if you've already qualified. Yes, yeah, I think Bish might have to do it. Possibly, possibly. Bish was already invited though and didn't want yeah. to do it. Um, um the, the, it's got a good mix of names this year. I'm loving that Kiliaskovsky's down to do it. Yes. Yeah, um, it's very international, which yeah. is great. We said we'd like to see Oscar Zidakowski invited. Yeah, I think Oscar deserves an invite. <coughs> Someone like um, Andre Invenezzi from Italy would be a yeah. great shout. Yeah, uh, there's there's other guys as well. What about um, Eskimporn? What's his name? Esk uh, <laughs> Johan Espen Kronen. <coughs> yeah, the guy that was Kronen. second to Rana oh, no. in the Masters. That would be a good shout. Yeah. <coughs> there, oh, no, do you know what? I've swallowed a fly. I'm just going to quickly grab some water. <laughs> yeah, I think um, you know, there's, there's, there's a lot of talent out there that deserves a shot, and you know, it's a, it's a comp that leads to world's strongest man. So, I would like to see some of those guys get invited. Johannes, yeah. Johannes Aho. I just, oh, Johannes Aho. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know that he's training for a, a comeback, but he is back training, which is cool to see. Felix is like 60. He's not far off. Yeah, 57, Mark Felix is. Unbelievable, man. He'll be 58. Can, can you believe he's done, tw was it 20 or 21? 20. Wow. 20 Britain's Strongest Man competitions. Oh. They just have to come as like a, just do meet and greets and stuff, because people love to see Mark, and he, oh, he's yeah. just a great guy. I was so happy to see him get that fourth sandbag go over. Oh, I know. It's not his best event, to no. be fair, and he, he was, he was kind of failing it a few times, and you're just thinking, oh, no. And then suddenly it went over, and you could see the jumper. He was so happy. He was so happy. It's nice seeing a happy Mark. Yeah. I loved, you didn't get it on camera. Liz went up to Mark Felix uh, after the deadlift, and you were like, oh, what was up on the deadlift? Mark? Oh, no, I said to him, oh, Mark, um, were you disappointed not to get the 400? And he said, yes, my ass was too high. <laughs> it's just the way he said it. it was so funny. Look who's in the house. <laughs> the number ah. one and number three in the UK right now. Yay, the nice Stoltman brothers. You, awesome work yesterday, lads. And um, yeah, Luke, you did it again, buddy. Well done. Yeah. And really Tom, good. Tom is just oh, Tom. Tom, Tom is just Tom. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> Tom is at that level now where it's hard being Tom because you just expect it to win. Yeah. That's a yeah. tough position to be in. It is hard, but Tom's good enough to carry yeah. that burden. He's strong enough to carry that load, <laughs> so he is he'll indeed. be okay. But yeah, well done, lads. Great performance. Yes. Uh, the spicy boys are in. We've got a load of chilies in the chat now. People are getting excited. <laughs> uh, in what capacity? Oh, they'll just bring him back as a legend. You can just wheel Mark in. Mark, Mark can just be a legend. Yeah, he'll come he just to be the, Mark. Yeah, he'll just come, um, go to the VVIP meet and greets, uh, meet the fans. I'm like Mark is, you know, he's, he's great he's, with fans. Yeah, he's like quite a shy, unassuming man, but he's very good with fans. He'll, mm. you know, sit and chat with you and sign anything and take. And, and Mark's he's Mark's great. still going to train. He still wants to do the over fifties and, and yep. still compete. He's just kind of, you know, I'm, rightly so. Like I, I get a bit of hate for this, but. I want the new guys getting opportunities. You can't keep putting, you know, us older guys into these competitions if we're not earning those qualifying spots. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it was great to get give Mark his last hurrah, but it is time for the new guys to, to come through and have those opportunities to become the future stars. But Mark is always going to be, you know, one of the guys that paved the way, just like Terry was, like myself and, you know, Ollie Thompson, these guys that kind of pushed the sport up in the UK, Eddie Hall, you know, to a ne the next level again. Um, and I think as fans, we want to see those guys. I hope, I hope you want to see them. I certainly love still seeing Mark at uh, events and, and Terry, and you know, I'm glad that I get the opportunity to do things as well. I was reading the um, argument on the internet because someone was like, oh, Mark, dead last again. And someone said, to be fair, He's never come last before at Britain's. And it is true, to be fair to Mark, in a lineup of 12, he's usually around 7th or 8th. So yeah. this is, you know, I guess this result shows that now is time for Mark to, yeah. you know, take yeah. that step down from Britain's strongest man. But what a legacy. Let's remember, what a like, yeah, when we're just going on pure who should be there based on who's the best right now, he shouldn't be there. But let's think about how incredible Mark is just as Mark. Like yeah. 57 years old. 
not 47, 57 years old, closing in on 60. I know. And he can still hang with some of the, I mean, let's bear in mind, that's the top 12 in the country he's up against, bar one or two. And, you know, he still holds his own on some things. Mm. He's, he's an incredible man. And he wins the over 50s comfortably. Yeah. You know, he'd still hang with the over 40s. Yeah, he would. You know, yeah. He's he's an incredible man. And, and he looks he looks 30. He looks godly, <laughs> doesn't he? The physique on him. The... He takes his top off at the end, and the, the women just go crazy, and half yeah. the men as well. Yeah, I go the craziest. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, Mark, take it off. <laughs> Cousin <I'm> Fred <laughs> with the members comment. Paddy looks like someone from TV or movie. Paddy looks like he's wearing a disguise with that moustache. <laughs> <laughs> All he needs is the glasses and nose. <laughs> oh, I hope you're watching Paddy. <laughs> Love you really, mate. <laughs> I like that you got his name changed to Paddy on um, on Strongman Strong Archives. Archives. Oh, it, it was, was Patrick. Patrick. Yeah. And we had a, a bit of a funny blooper. I almost gave myself whiplash. Loz was going through the lineup for Brits. He's like, next we've got Patrick Haynes. And I was like, I almost gave myself whiplash. <laughs> yeah. I um, messaged Shadow I was like, you've got to change it. And he was like, is it that big a deal? I was like, yes. <laughs> I acted like it was a huge deal. It probably <laughs> isn't. <laughs> um, Someone wants a Neil pickup jacket. That was an impressive jacket that Neil pickup had on yesterday. Oh, I know. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> He's funny. Super creating. Uh, Shane looked massive. Looked like he put on a lot of size for this prep, says Jay. Shane did look big. Yeah. yeah. Big and strong. <laughs> Liz throwing the phone at the wall while editing. No, never. Never. <laughs> throwing the phone at me. <laughs> yeah. Never at my house. <laughs> uh, Rasmus, thank you for the super chat. Realizing Tom does two times your max single for five reps in both the deadlift and Axel is quite humbling. God damn Scott. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? Not a single Englishman on the podium. Yes. Yes, it's yeah. true. Yeah. Two Scots and a Welshman. It's been a long time as well. Yeah, yeah it has happened before, like 1995. Yeah. I'm sure, possibly other years too. But um, yeah, yeah. There you go. And Shane, the top Brit. Shane, Shane and, uh, the, and top Englishman. Sorry, Shane and then Kane. Yeah, yeah. What I like about those two is they're like best mates, aren't yeah. they? And they have been since before all of this. So yeah, I, it's I really hope they. Cool. I hope they both get to go to Worlds. Yeah, it'd be Great nice experience for them both. Yeah. Uh, it's posh having a clean <laughs> Do you know it's I was about to say it's my one luxury I allow myself, but that would be a lie. <laughs> <laughs> I do like my little luxuries. Having a cleaner once a week though is just like I think it saved our relationship where I'd be following you around with a hoover and what are you saying? Spray all day. Well, Lost cooks a lot, so things get messy quite quickly in here, but knowing that. Like, you know, and you do a wipe down everything, but knowing that everything's getting a deep clean once a week, honestly, it keeps me sane. Therapy is probably much more expensive. So, you know. <laughs> oh, dear. There you go. Quick move on. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ah. Hi, Auntie. Oh, Auntie Loz and Uncle Liz. <laughs> Sorry, I haven't been able to watch this match. I just had my second baby girl two weeks ago. Congratulations. Busy. Congratulations. Oh, I can... oh, I can't even say it. Congratulations on your newborn. And there's lots of babies coming in strong, man. Yeah. Thankfully, there was one due one yesterday. Night. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shannon Smith is, well, due imminently. Any, yeah. yeah. Any day now. Cushy's, Cushy's due. due very soon. Ashley Hooper's due uh, quite soon as well. Very exciting. Lots, lots of babies in the strongman world. Yeah, a mini baby boom, yeah. aren't we? Very happy to see Janasha competing at Europe's Strongest Man. We were yes. talking about Janasha. It'd be great if he gets back in good shape. Oh, Janasha, yeah. a couple of years ago, was a beast. Yeah. He's not had the best couple of years, but if he can, if he can turn up how he used to be, he's dangerous. Mm. We'd love to see Tom do Europe's. Tom has turned down that invitation. It's too close to Worlds Tom wants for him. to win that world title back. Yeah, which, yeah, it's understandable. Uh, yeah, Rauno's doing Europe's. Uh, we've got Rauno, Ivers, Mateusz, Janasha. Who else? Alexi, Pavlo, Kordiaka, um, Luke, Gav Bilton, Luke Stockman. Luke Stockman. Yeah, those are the names off the top of my head. Um, they haven't announced the full lineup. Is yet. Andre they, doing it? Andre, yes. Yep. Uh, Foytu, I yep. suppose his name. Yes, excited to see him back at Giant Size. Mm. So, yeah, there's um, a 
great stacked lineup already, but I think just eight announced so far. Yeah. Yeah, World's Strongest Man announcing um, Athletes for Worlds already yeah. as well. Yeah, so that's nice to see that coming er- earlier and earlier now. I don't know why I can't talk today. I think I'm just tired. Matty's saying it was one of the best Giants live shows ever. It was a huge crowd yesterday. It was the biggest crowd for yeah. Britain's Strongest Man ever. Yeah, it was over 8,000 people there. Yeah. And the reason that there were issues on the stream is because they had an unprecedented amount of people signing in, signing up um, to watch it. Mm. Uh, World Strongest Man and the Giants Live series did really, really well over Christmas on Channel 5. It was like uh, number six out of everything that was shown in terms mm. of viewing figures. So it could be that we, the sport has earned a ton sport of Sport is fans. growing, which is yeah. good to see. Yeah, so server upgrade needed and hopefully no more issues. The good thing is, though, Giants Live are so hyper aware. They read every single yeah. comment. So they do want to be very proactive, don't they? I did like that someone messaged me. Um, telling me the the server was down. I, thought, I get messages. What do you want me to do? <laughs> I am not your person. <laughs> I, firstly, I know nothing about the technical side of all this thing. No. I mean, without Liz, there's no, none of this channel. No, no, and I'm not good either. So <laughs> it's even worse. Uh, where can you see the Andrew... full show? You can see it on official Strongman. Yeah. So they they upload it afterwards. And then once it's uploaded and it's no longer live, you can obviously pause, rewind everything because you can't do that during the live. Yeah. Andrew telling people to hit the like button. Yes, please do. For dude. Do you think Europe should be moved to after World Strongest Man due to it being too close? I would like to see it moved. It's just where do you move it to? I would assume. I would prefer to move worlds. No, what I would like actually <laughs> yeah, uh, move worlds. Move worlds. Get out of the way. Well, worlds is a pain in the ass because Giant Slide, well, it is. Yeah. Giant Slide, over a year in advance, they know the dates, venues, everything about their competitions. And then That's worlds, true. who are supposed to work with Giant Slide because Giant Slide is a qualifying tour, willy-nilly, all over the damn shop, aren't they? Yeah. This month, that month, all over the place. But I think a good solution is to put Europe's in the Britain's Strongest Man slot, and then a month or so later, do Britain's Strongest Man. Yeah. Keep it further away, and, you know, people are fresher. You're going to get bigger but, names Yeah, doing it. Right now, just because it's 10 days, I think it's two weeks, but 10 days before they travel to Worlds, yeah. it, it does put some of the athletes off. I mean, don't get me wrong, like the likes of Novikov want to come, Kilishkovsky, yeah, there's, yeah. there's some great guys doing it. Mm. But I think some of the guys that, have done a few comps and, and you know, they want to protect themselves for worlds, yeah. will not do it because no. they don't want to risk an injury that close or, you know, anything can happen. Mm. Um, Some athletes also, they just like that momentum of, of doing well in a competition. So, you know, if you do go to Europe and do really well, it's a big advantage. But if you go there and you don't do well, it can affect that confidence. So sometimes they just want to protect that and just get their training peaking for, for the one competition. Yeah. Uh, Stephen Young, thank you for the super chat. I thought that after the Mitch Daddy interview, they had retired Kaz from the floor. Mitch Daddy? Don't know. Is that when Mitch announced he was going to be a daddy? Maybe. I don't know. A great strong man, awful commentator. They didn't retire Kaz. Kaz had some health some issues. Some health issues, year. didn't he? Yeah, he was like, I think it's just arthritis, but he was really suffering with it, wasn't yeah, he? And yeah. Um, yeah, so he took some time off last year. If but, you notice, um, he's allowed to sit down a lot more now. Which, yeah, well, yeah. So he's come back in a like a, a bit of a smaller role, hasn't yeah. he? With like the option then to swap in laws and, you know, there's, there's more people now. We've got Nicola as well, who's really good. Terry's there every... Well, not every week, every competition as yeah. well. So you've got more options for switching people in and out if needed. So it's just a format they're constantly tinkering with, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Neil's the only constant. Neil is the man. Do you know what? I know like not he's not everyone's cup of tea, but I love Neil's announcements, even uh, though it sounds like he's falling down a well. <laughs> I, I, honestly, I don't think there's anyone better at sort of introducing the guys. No, no. When when, when it's so like, welcome to Giants yeah. Live, that's like, yeah, the yeah, fireworks go off and then you know it, it's business time. Yeah, it's so theatrical, but Giants Live is quite theatrical with like the walkouts and everything. Yeah. And I know it doesn't like I think because in the arena it all plays so loud and that doesn't necessarily come across on the stream but like the um the videos that they make beforehand in the um arena with that playing really loud surrounded by strongman fans it's really quite impactful isn't it, it? Is. Like the one last night the heroes one was quite emotional yeah. like I was like dabbing my eyes <laughs> <laughs> oh dear 
Mark can still mod grip events. Someone saying. Yes, Mark's grip is still. Well, it doesn't. That doesn't tend to weaken. Like my grip's still really good. Mm. Like I genuinely believe I could beat most of the guys at the Arnold's on the dinny hold for it's all the dinny walk, but I'd get my ass handed to me on a plate on everything else. Yeah. <laughs> so, it, you know, there's certain events that we can still do as we get older, but you've got to give the young guys the opportunity. The dinny, um, the dinny walk would be really interesting because they're using the same um, rules as they do for the nickel stones, so that athletes yeah. are allowed to put down. But I don't think we're going to see much distance covered after, after that first put down because yeah. when the blood rushes back to your thumbs. Well, it took a week to rush back to my. <laughs> well, that's true. <laughs> my, my thumb was sore for a week. Like, yeah, well, I wasn't I sore. I just lost numb. feeling. In yeah. It. yeah. Yeah. That's going to be an interesting as well. If it's, I don't know which event's first, the frame or the. the frame is on day one. Okay, that's yeah, good. the timber carries yeah. the first day. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because you don't want to do that no. after that, no. Um, Bo, with the members comment there, as a fan, what World's Strongest Man era slash decade was your favourite? As a fan, I guess the late 90s to early 2000s were my favourite um, because I wasn't competing in them. Mm. The 80s I enjoy watching back, but I just don't remember them. Um, you know, I was a really young kid, obviously, mm. early 80s. Um but yeah, I guess the '90s and early 2000s, yeah. sort of watching from from Magnus Fur winning in '91. Yeah, around there, yeah. up to like when I started competing, I guess. Yeah, I see. Not for me. Um, I I love the whole of the '90s. I didn't love it after the Ipsa split. I don't like. No, that I era. agree with you. Like from 2005. Not so far. Uh, yeah, up until nine. Yeah, I don't love it. I I, but, um... I, I like it up until 2004 actually. Yeah, mm, 2004 is a weird it's one. A weird I like one. it up to 2003. <laughs> Fair I, 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 enjoy, I enjoy 2004, weirdly. Yeah, I just don't understand it. I don't, it's, I'm it's not a, smart enough weird, to follow yeah, It's a weird format. Um, but yeah, I, I love watching sort of Magnus for, uh, Ma Magnus Samuelson, Sven Carlson, those kind of guys were who I was watching on TV. And, yeah. You know, then into Pujanovsky. Um. It was a shame not to have you on the mic, class. You were on the mic. It was in between events of Colin, wasn't yeah. it? I don't know if that's even shown on the stream, to be honest. I don't think it is. No. Oh, well, that's for the um, people in the arena. Yeah. There we go. Um, Everyone hit the like button. Yeah, we've got 738 people watching. If you could hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't, guys, that would be awesome. Hedgehog, thank you so much for gifting a membership. When does World's Strongest Man release the events list? Does anyone know? <sighs> No idea, to be honest. The athletes know a vague idea of the event. So they've been told deadlift. They don't know what kind of deadlift. They've been told, like, yoke, farmer's walk. But there's no, like, specifics. And so it the athletes, say... the athletes know what they should be training for. Yeah. And hopefully soon everyone will kind of know distances, weights, etc. Mm -hmm. So it, it is tough, you know, when you go to Worlds. Because I know, like, novice comps that manage to get their events and weights out really early, and the organisers get hundreds of questions from people yeah. wanting to know everything. The top guys get very little information. they just got to be strong. Yeah, and this is better than it used to be. I remember yeah. arriving on venue at Worlds and finding out what the events were. Do you? And what your groups were? Uh, world, yeah. Oh, well, yeah, they would change last minute. Yeah, they? exactly. 2014's <laughs> fine example. <laughs> Laws, if you were to give Luke Richardson one piece of advice, are he injuries? What would it be? The only bit of advice I could give, look, I've said this already. Luke is an incredible talent, amazing strong man, still very, very young. I do believe he can come back from from these injuries. I would love to see Luke go and do some lower level competitions at 80% not try and come in at 100% and just enjoy competing. I think he feels the pressure that everyone puts on him of being the future, that he's got to come in and absolutely mm. dominate every single show. I think if he could be like Zadrunas was and turn up to shows at 80% and just compete and enjoy it and have some fun, yeah. that man is so talented, like seriously talented. Um, he just And he just needs a bit of luck, you know? He's been very, very, very unlucky. Yeah. And sometimes people are. like Some people are just a bit more injury prone than others. But the best advice I could give him is go do some smaller shows, not put that pressure that I need to peak. Just go in there, 80%, have fun with it, uh, and just get a few comps under his belt because he ha he actually hasn't done that many competitions. Just five. 
Is that like well, international he, level? Yeah. He I won OSG, it, then he did Britain's strongest man, world's strongest man, Europe's strongest man, world's strongest man again, and, and then, then England. Yes, yeah, so yeah. six. Sorry. So I just think some you know smaller comps would be would good for him just to get him. And it's hard when you've been at that level. You don't want to step down. No, of course. But not. I just think have some fun competing. Don't worry about going there to to win. Get a few shows under your belt. Get a bit of confidence in your body, and he he'd be back to. You know, he's just, I think he's still only 26. Mm. Yeah, 26. He is. You know, yeah, people people told me I would be I was finished after a number of injuries. I'd never going to do anything. And I said, I went on to win, you know, the World Tour, the World Open that um, Glenn Ross ran, the World Championships that he ran. Yeah. I won Europe's Strongest Man. I won Giants Live Shows. I won some of my biggest competitions after Good multiple man. setbacks. And let's remember, Luke is younger and more talented than I ever was. So he can definitely come back. He just needs to... You know, I think just enjoy it. Take a bit of that pressure off. Rob, thank you so much for gifting membership. Thank you, Rob. All very generous and kind. Uh, do you think that Luke has done enough for a world's invite? If we're talking Luke Stoltman, then Luke is um Luke's he's, qualified. He's qualified. Top three uh, um, Brits is, is qualified. Like yeah. top three at Giants live shows or the televised Giant like show live shows are mm -hmm. qualified for world's strongest man. So Tom Stoltman, Gav Bilton, and Luke Stoltman. All have booked their flights to to World Tom and Gab had already qualified, yeah. but yeah. And the only the other Brit that's qualified so far is Shane because yeah. he was third at the World Open. World Open, yeah. So those four British athletes have all officially qualified for Worlds. Um, if you're talking about Luke Richardson, though, he won't be back in time for that. Like, I don't think he was talking about Luke Richardson. No, okay, that's fine. Just clarify. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I know it's Colin said that Giant Sive only have three years left on the Channel 5 contract. What do you think they'll do after? Probably renew the contract, to be honest. It's like contracts run for a certain amount of years, don't they? And then yeah, they decide they'll, to they'll try or... to get another contract, I'm sure of that. Yeah. Yes. Speculating. Like, we don't have anything to do with that, do we? <laughs> um, where are we? Show your support. Hit those likes. Thank you. Thank you. It's official. Liz hates world's strongest man. <laughs> Liz was a snack in her pre-show photos. Oh, thank you. Now I'm like someone vomited up the snack. <laughs> I'm so tired. I just Rasmus. I just brushed what a name. Hair. I love this name. <laughs> that was it. Uh, hey, thank you Rasmus. so much for the super chat. What's your view on making a more strict strongman series with qualifiers leading up to the worlds? So like nationals, then groups like Scandinavia, Britons, West East Europe, and so on, then move into continents and finally worlds. So like a proper a proper like series. Up the, yeah. I think if we can get like more interest from different regions of the world, it's something that maybe could be done to some extent at some point. There's still areas that are way, way more in depth in terms of talent than others. So I don't think it would kind of work perfectly. Because at the moment, Europe and America are predominantly the best there's some great athletes in africa and you know australia, australia new zealand at the that, moment yeah. but the the big pool of athletes is europe and, and america's right now so yeah i'd love to see it uh, genuinely the more um regions that are doing strongman and producing high level athletes the better yeah. and I, I like i like proper qualifying kind of routes yeah. i think the, the the tough challenge right now is there's no real exposure to certain regions with strongman like yeah. they're not getting on I mean, the let's, TVs. let's look at like middle east strongest man today i couldn't find anything on the internet about no, it no unfortunately not no it's not on strongman archives it's not anywhere i've not seen it mentioned on reddit no nothing. so you know if i wasn't coaching one of the athletes there i wouldn't have even known about it yeah so there's there's just certain areas that's just not so popular right now Neil didn't say Zeus's tooth last night. Guess everyone's getting a little fat. <laughs> <laughs> they were a bit bigger last night, the athletes. <laughs> yeah. Heavier competition tends to force them to get a bit bigger. A lighter competition, they'll try and be quicker, a bit more agile. So with the heavy deadlift and the axle, the weights were up there. They, they came in big. Mm. Um, someone asking why Mark didn't do the um, axle. Uh, Mark decided to pass it just because he knew he wouldn't be able to do it. Yeah, That's honest reason. Uh, Marius loved the comp. Fun to see Luke on a podium again. It's fun to see Luke having fun, isn't it? Absolutely. Like I've, I've seen a few comments saying, "Oh, you should be um, <coughs> talk more about Luke," and you've put him down and stuff. I never put Luke down. 
all I do is kind of base things off what people have done in their last few competitions. And Luke was a little bit on the way down. And do you know what's great about an athlete acknowledging that? They tend to then go work harder and come back better. And that's exactly what Luke's done. And all you can do is commend him for that. Mm. You know, he's an amazing athlete. Absolutely one of the best in the world. He's Europe's former Europe's strongest man. He's won the World Tour Finals, multiple finalists at World's Strongest Man. He's great. Last year, he didn't have his best year. But he's been working hard in the off-season. He's come back like a man, you know, possessed. It's great to see. Mm. Oh, look who's in the house. Folks, the problem with Lozzy is he is <laughs> multi-talented. There's only one of him. If he only MCs to the live crowd, we don't get him on the live stream and vice versa. We need to clone him somehow. <laughs> very kind and generous comments there from Giant Live. Isn't that nice? Thank Lozzy? you very much, guys. Yeah. Just not enough of you to go around. <laughs> Uh, but great show, Giants Life. Like, yeah, we genuinely awesome really enjoyed it. I think a lot of people did. I've seen so many good comments about the show yesterday. Just, you know, the, the speed of it, but the events themselves, the excitement. I loved the events. I thought the deadlift was a huge success. Mm. Like, I wasn't sure. Nice how variation. It was pan on it. Out. Yeah, it was really nice to have that variation. Now, in the next competition, we've got the deadlift ladder. And like the Giants Life are building new equipment. And I am so excited about it because. You know, when, like us, you go to every single one, yeah. even though they do sort of rotate the kit around, it can start to feel a bit samey, but we also appreciate Darren's always trying to come up with, like, Darren, and, and Colin either. is always trying to come up with ideas for yeah. new events. Oh, I've seen Colin's sketchbook, and honestly, guys, <laughs> it is a magical thing. <laughs> He's quite the artist. He is. <laughs> yeah. uh, he is funny. <laughs> um, where are we? Thank you for a great show, Iron um, Giants Live. What about the Iranian hunk? Hulk, not hunk. Hunk. I'm the Iranian hunk. Or half Iranian hunk. <laughs> <laughs> Who most overachieved your expectations? That's a great question from Big Dave. Kane, to an extent. <sighs> I don't even know that he over exceeded. Like no. Kane, I knew would be good. I just thought the likes of Bish and the, the top four would, would be a little five. bit better with those events. Remember, yeah. with me, it's all about events, and I I was pretty convinced Tom was going to win. And then I had like I had who I thought would come in sort of orders, but I was convinced the top five would be the top five. Mm. So for Kane to kind of sneak in there and get that fifth place, it, it was tremendous. Um, and Gav. But like, but I knew Gav would be good. I just but Gav had no weakness. No, Gav, Gav has always what, had a what's, weakness. What's impressive about Gav is that just the steady improvements. Yeah, he's just yeah. getting better all the time, and I'm all for it. Yeah, I'm. Know? I'm such a huge Gav fan. Like, I try and act cool around him, but I love Gav. <laughs> <laughs> We're driving home and I'm like, we should go visit and train with Gav and I'll film it. <laughs> just something about Gav is just like, he's just such a cool, calming person to be around, he isn't is. he? He's he just is. a lovely presence and it's great to see him doing well. Yeah. Yeah. How would Liz react to a cloned Lars? Not well. Not well at all. I could go book two of him. I think it would make more sense for Lars to have two of me, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. That would be better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. One in a 100 is a winner. I don't know who Giant Side's talking to, but we're glad you're here anyway. Yes. <laughs> What's your record live stream crowd outside of World's Strongest Man Week? 740 watching is great. I think we've had like a couple of thousand during like some competitions. Yeah, maybe. But 750 is great for a Sunday night. Yeah. You know, we're, we're normally around like four to 500, I'd say. So thank you all for joining us. And yes. if you're new, I hope you enjoy the channel. As Give a it a like and subscribe. Yes. Become a member. Yes. The only problem with Liz doing the live stream is we won't get the awesome behind the scenes content. Oh, no. I do not want to be on the live stream. Last At the um, World Tour final last year, and if you haven't seen it already, you need to, after this, obviously after this, go to Giants Live's channel and look at the behind the scenes video they made from the World Tour final. It went out a few weeks ago because, honestly, it's just such a quality video. Like, and a, a real good insight to everything from the minute they arrive at a venue. Um, but yeah, anyway, <laughs> the guy who was filming that documentary, James, his name is, at one point he was like, Liz, could you just interview Luke Stoltman? And honestly, guys, it was just verbal diarrhea <laughs> after verbal diarrhea. <laughs> Suddenly, without having that control of being able to edit things and everything, I just turned to a psycho. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> People get good. to see what I live with. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, I'm not like that off camera. Well, maybe I am. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah. Oh dear. Show watch alongs yeah. around. God. Yeah, <laughs> show watch alongs have done well when we've yeah. not been at a competition. Yeah. Like uh, the short classic is a good example. Yeah, definitely. What did you want me to click? On? I was just looking at the comments and you can oh, pull okay. them down. That's because I'd read them already, oh. Lazzy. There you go. <laughs> the keg toss and squat machine returning would be nice. Oh, I love I always those like machines. the, the yeah. squat machine yeah. and the keg machine. World's Strongest Man have those, though, don't they? We've never had those at an arena show before. And I do appreciate there are some issues with things not necessarily going exactly well. I mean, Brian came up with a good solution with his chest press, didn't he? Mm. Of things not landing, bouncing around and stuff. Yeah, but, yeah. So I guess... It's doable, but yeah, we'll see. Yeah, last World Strongest Man, we had 8,200. The first year that first we did it, when there was, when no one could go, like, so there were no fans at Worlds at all, we had over 20,000 people at one point. And you mm, point... I thought we had 14,000. I, I, I don't think we had 20. Oh, didn't we? No. 14 then. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so you sound like Colin. <laughs> I turned into Colin. I spend too much time with him. I start exaggerating my numbers. Sorry, Colin. <laughs> And I remember you pointed at it to me because I hadn't even seen yeah. it. And honestly, I nearly fainted. Yeah. <laughs> I was like shaking, trying to scroll. Yeah. <laughs> Might have cloned another Colin Bryce. The world is definitely not ready one for two Colin, Colin Bryce. Bryce's. Is definitely enough. Yeah. Oh, I clicked on the wrong one. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> no, the world doesn't need two Colin Bryce's. One is more than enough. <laughs> but we do love Colin. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> With all that said. <laughs> oh, we do. John, thank you for the super chat. Loz, is knee and back pain a common thing at the top level of strongman? I compete at novice level and both my knees are back, but already wrecked. Yeah, strongman's a brutal sport. Like, I think people forget that sometimes. You know, you are pushing your body to the extremes. So injuries are going to happen. Uh, I see lots of things online and, and, you know, people looking at ways to, to lift forever. And the best way to lift forever is to not push yourself to any extreme. You long. know, if you have perfect technique and you don't go too heavy and you can have, everything's in moderation, it's easy not to get hurt. But when you're asking someone to push themselves to these extremes, your body is going to take it. Even if it is just wear and tear over time, um, you know, your body's going to feel it. I, I know guys do everything perfectly. Their technique's perfect. They do everything prehab, rehab. Everything is spot on, and they still have injuries. It's a very tough sport. Um, so, unfortunately, there are going to be, you know, knees, shoulders, back issues. We do everything we can to prevent it, and you've got to be smart, and you've got to understand you can't be pushing hard all the time. But, unfortunately, it's a dangerous sport. Mm. Um, there's a question here is the Arnold's deadlift going to be raw this year yes yes not not even allowed briefs this year I believe it's yes. no suit no briefs so proper raw they are allowed straps and, and a belt mm. and Thor if anyone saw that 440 last week he's looking strong he's looking very very good yeah, yeah. it's going to be interesting to see how it affects other lifters though who really get a lot out of a suit like alexi novikov mm -hmm. i mean we know how it affects alexi because we've seen him definitely yeah. at rogue uh before the rogue invitation yeah it is. also evan singleton too yeah because he's so crazy off the floor isn't it what yeah. would you call that off the floor just explosive, explosive and powerful yeah that's it not crazy no. <laughs> yeah people confirming it's raw uh well people trying to talk to colin in the chat <laughs> the deadlift is raw this year yep it is thoughts on martin's deadlift martin's a great deadlifter his technique's a little bit different to some of the other athletes but you know it works for him and um, very smooth kind of pull nice technique very strong throughout not quite as explosive off the floor mm. yeah um ben what's your thoughts on taking the deadlift championships to the usa i was hoping to see the record being broken live in the uk oh i'm super excited that um you know giants live are going to vegas colin you have to make sure there is a role for me in vegas because yeah. we, we, we've got to be there yeah. um none of this wishy-washy stuff I think, Colin. i think i'm excited for it i think it's gonna give a lot more athletes an opportunity to go there i think well, we've actually started thinking of a list of athletes that maybe deserve an invite so i'm sure colin will look forward mm. to, to watching that in a week or two um there's some great deadlifters out there uh, i'm trying to convince thor to do it whether he will or not is is another thing but it would be cool to see thor come back and do it in a competition because you know obviously people have said 
you know, it was done at his home gym. If I'm Thor, I'm thinking big opportunity to shut everyone up and, and win some decent money. It so. wasn't a home gym, though. No, it wasn't. Just a, it was a gym. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It, was a, it was a very good gym, actually. Yeah, a really good gym. Um, but, but what I'm saying is, you know, how, yeah, I know. if you're Thor, with all those comments that people said, why not? Do it one-handed with a finger in the air. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Screw you guys. Because I think looking at him, he, he'd be capable. He's looking super strong. But I know, talking to Hixie, he is massively up for it. Uh, Browner is massively it. up for it. I'd like to see Jamal Browner. I'd like to see Adam Black. Bishop after watching Bish the Bish focused on night. it, you know. Um, Tom. Tom, I don't think was going to go for it, but you never know. Like, he's bloody strong. And um, even Makarov. Yes. You know, yeah. even is looking super straight. He's looking lean as well. See how much muscle that man has on his body. Oh, like it's crazy. Girl, his yeah. back and glutes, dare I say yeah. it. Well, to be fair, it's not my fault. It's actually Colin. He's always pointing out even's ass like, <laughs> look at the backside on this guy look even do it do, do a 12 for us <laughs> these oh, poor men are objectified <laughs> yeah uh, do you know what I, I, i've got to say like if you look at his training right now bobby thompson i'd love to see him do the yes. deadly four championship. even if maybe it's to try and get the american record he mm. might not be at world record level i think he could take the american record no, totally agree. Um, yeah. and there's probably a number of athletes that maybe would want to look at their national record you know, that yeah. aren't quite at world record level. Yeah. But, um, we but yeah, yeah uh, to answer your question, though, about it's being taken out of the UK, you have to share the love, Ben, because yeah. the, they haven't had a giant We've side We've been very spoiled in the UK. We have. Since 2019, the North Ooh. American um, Championships, yeah. or North American Open, I think they used to call it, giant side. Yeah, I um, won it, didn't I? Not that year. Not that year. No. Evan won it that year. But yeah, yeah, yeah you have won that before. Um, so, it like, Giant Slive does need to get back on the road again, and they've. But we're not losing any shows. Like we've still got the same amount of shows in the UK this year, I think, because we've got yeah. the addition of the Birmingham one, haven't we? Yes, indeed. Yes, I believe that's correct. So, hip flipping, Mama Kelly. Are you planning to go into the Arnold's in March? Yes, Kelly. We will be there with bells on our heads, won't we? Yes, <laughs> going to be at the um, Ohio UK at the beginning of March well. and the UK one in the middle of March. Yes. Really excited to see the UK one and to, to see that back because the NEC is such a good venue yeah. for that. The Liz and Loz World Strongest Man Watch Posse is the strong man of the year. <laughs> Thank you, Brian at Bigfoot. I agree. It is. Yes, we like people who aren't strong man fans, they think it's crazy. I mean, it is crazy, really, isn't it? It is crazy that we're all sat in our own spreadsheet and yeah. excited about you know results coming through a phone or a spreadsheet, but it's bloody exciting isn't it <laughs> it is uh we will we will all miss it when it's gone even though we all do want a live stream but yeah. never mind uh alas most of the buffets have shut down in vegas what <laughs> <laughs> my my whole goal is to like get in really good shape for vegas we found our trip so my arm looks good holding a mic and then just put it all back on while i'm there <laughs> Just train the arm, Lars. I'm sure you're fine. I am. You don't see I'm icing it right now. He is actually icing his elbow while we're on this slide. <laughs> I've been arm wrestling. <laughs> oh, dear. What happened to Phil Roberts? Phil had... Horrific injury. Yeah, oh, they acknowledge that. He um he just didn't come back to strong after that. Yeah, injury. after that. And, and you, you see this with a few people when they get horrific injuries. They just don't want to put themselves mm. through it. You know, strong men, for the most part, they're not being paid big bucks. It's a tough sport. And, and something like that can just knock your confidence massively. Yeah, massively. Because, I, I mean, for those not in the know, I think it was 2019, mm. um, Britain's Strongest Man. And... He sort of fell back with an atlas stone and his legs got sort of crushed underneath him, didn't they? Well, I can't remember what his actual injuries were, but it was a long list, wasn't it? He was in hospital for a long time. Yeah, it was very so, nasty. Yeah, it was a, a terrible accident. But um, yeah, didn't come back after that. <sighs> Makarov looks like a, what's that, a Belgian blue bull? bull. Yeah. <laughs> he does. <laughs> Um, apologies, Ari, the live stream, and Loz and Liz have explained it pretty well. But basically, the stream left the building and sent to our server in a great shape. Uh, hopefully, that makes sense to you all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, like Giants Life say, it's um, it's good that, I mean, it's a good problem to have. Yeah, Obviously, the, we need to look at a, to get on, a yeah. bigger server now to, to kind of accommodate more people. But, yeah. you know, I think, uh, I think it was Colin in the VIP saying that, um, the viewing figures for Britons are usually lower, 
So oh, I just yeah. don't think we expected as many to, to kind of no. you know, hit the, the sort the of link threshold so quickly. Of what it was uh, <laughs> capable of. We have multiple backup connections, but our server flopped, and this will never happen again. I apologize again if it ruined your viewing, wasted your time, or annoyed you. Ah, there you go. It's nice. They're to, on the it's case. nice to have giants live joining us. Yeah. Yeah. Help us explain things yeah. when we don't know. We what don't have to make stuff up, on. do we? Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Let's keep. Let, they're still going. I'm guessing this is Colin. I Sounds like Colin, it doesn't does, it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know enough about servers, but we will make sure. Um, I don't know enough about it, but oh, I think that was a mistake. <laughs> Whatever server we use will have the capacity. There we cool. go. Ah, lost crying at. That year's Welsh Sugar's Man watch party was emotional. Loz has cried more than once at the watch parties as well. I'm pretty sure you shed a tear when Tom first won. Yeah. Then again last year when Mitch all won. Right. Just because I cry an emotional all the time. guy. Yeah. Yeah. I'm probably like <laughs> less emotional about myself. Yeah. Then you're you more other emotional people. about other people. Yeah. Yeah. When you care about people, mm. it's um mm, stuff. <laughs> I don't. Oh. I'm, I think they're just glitching now. <laughs> Colin, <laughs> press your reset button, man. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Dalton, thank you for the super chat. Don't We've forget... set up a lesbian meetup for yes, the Arnolds. Yes, we do. Ooh, although we're getting there quite late yeah. on Thursday, so we wouldn't be able we'll to do it to, the day before. We'll have to see what we can figure out. Yeah, we'll check out the timetable. And yeah, we will make sure we sort out something. Uh, what happened to Ben Branning? Podiumed at World Tour Finals and then seemed to fall off the face of the earth. Yeah, unfortunately, Ben suffered a back injury that kind of mm. put him out, and then he got into MMA. Ben is doing awesome. Seen him a couple of times. Really cool guy. He's and, and he's, weight, yeah, he? he's, he's enjoying <laughs> fighting in the ring now. Yeah, there you go. Uh, Farron, thank you so much for becoming a member. Do make sure you check out the members' benefits afterwards. Um, Thor's Hammer. I'm curious how different the podium will be from the Arnold's Ohio to UK. Mm. I think it will be different because there's a couple of athletes that aren't doing both. Um, but, you, you know, there's not that many differences, is there? No. So Martins isn't doing UK. Tom, <laughs> is he doing both? Tom's doing both. Okay. Uh, Mitch is doing both. Kalishkovsky is. Yeah. Thor yeah. is. Yeah. Most of them are. Yeah, We've got... Uh, Lucas Hatton is doing UK, not Ka USA. Gav's, Gav's doing Gav's UK. doing UK. Oh, I'm so excited for Gav. Yeah. Do you know, I've got a fun little story about that. Jan Todd mm -hmm. emailed me and she was like, oh, Liz, I'm trying to get hold of Gav Bilton, but I think I'm ending up in like his junk mail. Do you have his phone number, please? So I was so honoured to be the person that got to say to Gav, Jan Todd wants your phone number. And like, I've never had such a fast reply. So so happy for Gav. Yeah. And like, looking at him last night, I think he can do well. He's just got to keep doing what he's doing, keep yeah. improving. You know, that's a, it's going to be a tough comp. But the advantage he has is that most of those top guys will be focusing on the Ohio. Yes. And they might be a little bit beat up. They will well. be a little bit beat up. So that's where he's got to take advantage and just really focus on you know, being at his best for the UKs. Yeah, definitely. Billy, fair play to Giants for coming onto this live stream and explaining the situation. Yeah. yeah. They get a bit of stick sometimes, but they're good people who want to put on a great show and genuinely very, very passionate about the sport. Aren't Hugely. They? Without without the likes of like Darren and Colin, Strongman would be dead. <laughs> it yeah, literally be would honest, be dead. They carried it when no one else was really doing anything new. Joe, thank you for the super chat. Amazing show yesterday. Sorry if it's been mentioned already, but what was the deal with the 400 reps world record amount? Has Rauno's six times record been changed for a different type of record? So Rauno did six for reps. I think we kind of explained this a little bit earlier. What Giants Live have done is created records on their kit, which is great because now, because in Strongman in the past, you think about it, all records were done on different kit under different circumstances, yeah. whereas now we're actually having things that we can track properly. Mm. Uh, Rauno has done four reps on a deadlift. He's done um, six reps. On sorry, <laughs> six reps on a deadlift. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Rauno, if He'll you're watching. Texting. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Uh, six reps. Actually, Rauno reckons he can do more as well. He did more uh, in training yeah, for it. Yeah, he did more in training for it. Like but <laughs> when it was time to do it, he did six, um, which is the record. The Giants live record on these bars using the same equipment all the time, which is what's great about the Deadlift World Championships, is always done on the same bar, which I really like yeah. because we can really track that. Because if you compare what, say, Kaz did yeah. in the early days, you know, Kaz is the, the guy, new guys aren't that much stronger than the likes of Kaz. Uh, the equipment that's used varies. And it was a question actually at the VVIP meet and greet yesterday how far can the lifts go? I think athletes will continue to kind of keep 
chopping and breaking down records because not only do they get stronger, the equipment evolves as well. So like the lifting suits get better, the straps get better, the training methods get better, the supplements get better. So sport and, you know, sport in general always progresses to a degree. You get the peaks and troughs, so tough, yeah. but athletes will always push each other to do more. Um, but I like now with the Giants Live kit that there's, you know, we're seeing progress on this kit. But Rauno has done six. That's yeah. that should be pointed out. And you know, he is one of the proven many times. He's one of the absolute best deadlifters on the planet. Mm. And he also needs to come to Vegas with us. Yes, <laughs> yes. Cousin Fred, thank you for the super chat. For everyone going to the Arnold's, I will have a surprise. Lars might know if he remembers last year. I'll have to get my thinking cap on, Fred. <laughs> should we be afraid? <laughs> Uh, very intrigue, only slightly nervous. Oh, go, go up, go Thank up, you, go Fred. Up. Is This one, Jez. <laughs> is Britain's strongest woman's move from Doncaster to York a permanent thing? Uh, Giants Live will be able to answer that if you're still watching, but I'll it, just say I, I think it's the 22nd of June is England's strongest man and Britain's strongest woman, and tickets are available. Make sure you get there. because I didn't even realise it moved. Yeah, because it, no. it was Doncaster yeah. last year. Is it, it a bigger venue? It's a bigger venue. They're doing both shows in one day. Yes, I saw that. Yeah, and the women last year were unbelievable. Yeah, so, it was really and also if you're you're a big fan, like this is a chance for those up and coming English athletes to qualify for Britain's Strongest Man. Yeah, <laughs> just realised there is a delay, and therefore it's too late. But Vegas, baby, can't wait. P.S. If we didn't take Claus on theirs, I reckon we'd be lynched these days. So I hope you will come. <laughs> yes, please threaten to lynch them. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> we would definitely come. We would love to come. We would love to come. What I'm excited about is seeing Giants Live as it is, as a package shown in the USA. Because the I know, like from talking to fans, clients, there's so many American fans that want to see it over there. So yeah. I, I think it's going to be awesome. Yeah, it's going to be really cool. But I don't think you can fully appreciate the atmosphere in one of those arenas until you've been in yeah. there yourself. Like the volume and also, of like, music. Ve 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 like, Liz has never been to Vegas. So I'm excited to take her to Vegas, be part of the strongman, and go and do some other stuff in Vegas. Yeah. Because for a few days, Vegas is cool. I wouldn't want to live there, to be quite honest. It's a bit mental. Lives, I, I know. He lives on the outs. So oh, yeah, probably yeah. a bit different. <laughs> but I've, I've been to Vegas before, and there's just so much fun stuff to do. And, you know, having Strongman there is just going to be cool. Um, where are we? Great to have it in York, because it means I can walk home afterwards. Oh, there you go. Perfect. Use your place as an Airbnb, Jake. <laughs> Giant Slide, please do a production piece on Loz. This and Laws on the rides at the top of the Stratosphere. I was at like a theme park yeah, in Vegas. Oh, goodness. You get me to do enough. Stupid you things. like stuff like that. Laws, stop interrupting your wife. <laughs> <laughs> it's usually the other way around. It's never the other way around. This happens all the time. Send help. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> oh, oh, dear. Where are we? Do you know what the super rep <laughs> Deadlift is at the Arnold's UK. I do not. Do you? No, I don't. No, I've no. I've seen the rules for the Ohio show, but not UK. I have no idea. I've never heard a deadlift described like that. I'm wondering if it might be similar to what we've just seen at Giants Live. I don't know. With like a max rep attempt with different weight selections, because Arnold's have used that different weight selection thing for a few years, haven't they? Like yeah. several times. So, um, yeah, but no, I don't know. No, we'll try and find out though. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what should be next place outside the UK for a Giants show? So it's presumably not America. I think Canada would be a great yeah. place right now. Canada would be really good. There's a lot of um, great strong men and strong women in Canada. And obviously with Mitch being the current world's strongest man, brings new fans as well. Mm. Um, but, you know, I like it when it used to go all over. I've seen Giants Live in Ukraine. I did a competition in Ukraine with Giants Live. Finland, uh, mm -hmm. Sweden, you know, there's uh, South Africa. Yeah. There's so many places that would love yeah. Australia. Australia. Australia would yeah. love it over there, I think. Yeah, that strength community is growing mm. all the time. Um, someone said married people don't interrupt each other. They merely continue each other's conversation. What a lovely... <laughs> That's a nice Nothing way, way to play it. it. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm going to Vegas for the Deadlift Championship. Should be a great time. Definitely get be. there. It will be a really good time. Um, 
What does Colin Bryce think about Thor's comments recently in his interview with Lars? Great question. Uh -huh. See if he's still on. Yeah. <laughs> Giants live to Ireland, says Ronan. Yeah, it could definitely work in Ireland, couldn't it? Um, oh, why doesn't Welsh Rogers Man go to any other countries anymore? It seems to be stuck in America. There's a few factors there. One of them, it's always money, because they go where they're kind of paid to go mm -hmm. and where they can get you know, good deals for being in that country. But COVID did have an impact as well um, with the ability, because they are obviously based in the USA. So for a couple of years, the ability to move it around. So um, Colin, correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> Canada would be awesome. Love Scandinavia, love to spread the sport to France and Germany. Strongman hasn't stretched the surface, Scratch. scratched the surface of his mm -hmm. potential. Yes. Absolutely. We want to see, I want to see Strongman in like China, India, Australia, yeah, Africa, South America. I see Strongman growing everywhere. I remember a conversation with Colin years ago because we were talking about YouTube and stuff, and he's like, how can we crack India? <laughs> so, <laughs> Any Indian about? fans there that want to see Strongman, yes. let us know. Yes. Oh, the potential is insane, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Um, Europe's strongest man in Germany or Poland would make sense logistically. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, for a lot of Europe, pretty easy to travel around to as well. Yeah. Uh, always love Did watching this. Mohegan's son again. Mohegan's son always looked cool. I never got to go to Mohegan's son, but I, I used to love watching it. Um, what songs did you use during your career for walkouts? It, well, when I was kind of competing, it wasn't really a thing. Like it was only towards no. the very end um, yeah. that where songs became a thing. But um, yeah, it's, it's a much newer it thing is. that Giants Live do. Yeah. And I think also um, they kind of used to pick it for They just used to pick the, the songs for athletes. They pick them now, yeah. don't they? Um, yeah. I don't, I'm trying to think what you walked out to in 2021 when it you was, did the... It wasn't even a song that I kind of cared for. It was, was it like Return of the Mac or something? No. Um, what was that? I can't remember what it's called. No, I can't remember either. Colin? <laughs> it, wasn't, <laughs> remember? it wasn't Colin that decided. No, but you might remember. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> I would go to a Giants Live in Sydney. I'd find a way. So would we. Yeah. <laughs> World's well, strongest man in Lapland, like the 80s. Yeah, I think there's only been a few times it's been in cold I've countries. competed in Lapland, and it, it's cold. <laughs> it's really, it really, really cold. It's a bit miserable to compete in, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was cool. Like, it was a cool experience. Um, but I don't know that you want World's Strongest Man there. Mm, no. It's just very limiting on seeing the best performances from guys. Because we were having to do, like, truck pulls, slipping all over oh, the nice. place. Or, yeah. you know, I think... Visually, it can look good, but if you want the best out of the athletes, it's maybe not the best place to go. You're, yeah. Actually, hotter is better than too cold for, for the athletes. Yeah. Right, we've been on for over an hour, we and have. I think um, now would be a good time to go to bed, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you, everyone, for joining us. It's been lots of fun. We've got some fun videos coming out this week. Always, we? yep. We, um, we're probably a bit behind on some of the videos we want to get out, but um, yeah. we've been busy. But we are working on it. Auntie Liz is doing amazing. I've been um, in my little cage, haven't I? Back in the cage. <laughs> it's Tink Cage. He feeds me breadcrumbs through there. <laughs> <laughs> Going to get knocked on the door from the police soon. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? Guys, take care. Have a great week. We'll speak to you soon. <laughs> <laughs> Just smile and wave. <laughs> smile and wave.